Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, I'm Tanelia. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. In today's video, we're going to be doing a good old-fashioned Ulta haul. I haven't made an Ulta purchase in a while. I recently did my first Sephora haul for my birthday. I will link that down below if you guys are going to check that out. I'm so excited about some of the products that I picked up. I got my very first ever Patrick Ta blush, which not including the palettes that I've gotten from Natasha Denona that came in BoxyCharm boxes. It's probably my first real high-end luxury products so I was very excited about that but today's video we're going to be doing an Ulta haul I have some makeup and body care and some hair products might have some skincare too but let's just go ahead and dive in so I can show you what I picked up if you're enjoying the content while you're watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up it really does help liking sharing commenting all these things help a smaller creators to grow if you're a smaller creator like me you know that's the hardest thing about growing on this platform is just getting your content out there getting seen letting people know you exist among the sea of you know, tens of thousands of creators on this platform. I posted a poll on my community tab asking if you guys would prefer more of a schedule or if the random uploads are working for you. Because usually what I do is I just edit the video and I upload it and set it live, you know, as I finish. The majority of you guys said that you would prefer more of a schedule. So this is what I'm currently going to attempt not this week but going into the following week and then just kind of do this through april and you just, you just you just let me know what you guys think if it works out for you my current plan is to post tuesday thursday saturday and sunday i work three days a week monday wednesday thursday by doing the schedule this way i'm uploading on the days that i'm off and filming and so that way i can edit in the middle of the days and i'm not editing on the days that i'm filming like i said let me know guys down in the comments as we progress because i'm gonna through this do this through april and just let me know how it's working and if it's making it easier for you to see what my content is uploading and make it easier easier for you to watch i saw some really interesting products launched from the ulta beauty line this is the soft cotton scented body butter as we're like getting more into you know summer spring summertime you know you're showing off a little bit more skin my skin is like less dehydrated in the spring and the summer than it is in the fall and winter but this looked very interesting had pretty decent reviews smells really fresh i'm definitely interested in giving that one a try and there are 6.4 fluid ounces in here it's a pretty decent size so i was looking through the new product launches on ulta focusing mainly on the body products because i was needing some more you know body creams body lotions shower gel shower cream stuff like that because i only have a little bit left and i saw this brand i think it's dionis i think is how you say that i'm I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, maybe saying it completely wrong, but they're vegan and cruelty free. And I saw that they had these products with goat milk. This is the goat milk body cream. This one actually also has hemp in it. It's goat milk blended with cannabis sativa seed oil to soothe and moisturize dry skin. Fragrance free. There's 3.2 ounces. I think that's what, I, what that says. So I thought I would give that a try. I love products with hemp already. And I saw that this one was a goat milk body cream. So I thought, you know what? That should be interesting to try. And then also from that same brand, I got this lavender blossom bath and shower goat milk shower cream it has chamomile in it it says it's to cleanse nourish moisturize cruelty free paraben free sulfate free and there are 8.5 fluid ounces in this so definitely interested in giving this brand a try i love trying out new brands especially when they're like cruelty free and that smells really good you can definitely smell that lavender in there this should be very soothing and calming as well i've really been excited about the pixie skincare i got two samples from ulta free with purchase one was the glow tonic and then one was the vitamin c tonic and i love them both i love the glow tonic just a little bit more so i got that one in a bigger size they do have one that's like really big this is kind of in the middle of 4.2 ounces pixie is like a little bit on the pricier side so i went with this size instead of the bigger one i am really really loving they're tonics. I was trying to decide between this one and the one that had retinol in it. And I decided since I'm already using some retinol serums, I didn't want to go too ham on the retinol. So I just went with the glow tonic. But I love their products. Very excited about trying some more from the brand. They have amazing skincare. I also grabbed from The Ordinary. I saw that they had a new product. This is the Salicylic Acid 2% uh, Serum. This is made for blemish prone skin, obviously. I got this for both me and my daughter. My daughter is 17 and she like she gets hormonal breakouts and sometimes from stress as well. And she mainly breaks out like in this area right here most of the time. 
And so I got this for her to try out whenever she has breakouts. And also, you know, for me as well. In high school and like in my early 20s, I used to break out so bad. And I really, really like the products in The Ordinary. So I thought, you know, this would be a good one to try for those occasional, you know, hormonal breakouts. And hopefully it'll work really well on my daughter's skin as well. I have a couple of products from Hui that I picked up. I think I'm saying it right. O-U-A-I. So I could be saying it completely wrong. But I mentioned in one of my product empties as well as a favorites, the hair oil from Wee. I also got to try this one as well in one of my Ulta free gifts with purchase hauls that, you know, came with one of my orders. And I really, really liked this hair oil. Just made my hair very silky, very soft, very smooth. So I wanted to get it in a bigger size. This is the travel size. This one was 14. The full size was like 28. 30 something like that and I figured you know this is enough you know for what I use on a daily basis this should last me you know two to three months and then I also got the leave-in conditioner I love the hair oil so much I thought you know what let me give this leave-in conditioner a try this is one point fluid ounces that's a pretty decent amount I only wash my hair every two weeks being half black half Korean you know I have biracial you know mixed kind of hair so I don't need to wash it all the time if I washed it you know more often than that it would just dry out so this will last a really long time so that's it for skincare and hair products body care all that everything else that I picked up was makeup and I picked up some pretty exciting products that I've been wanting to try out from Trace Loose Beauty this is the Becky G brand I grabbed the I am palette the Trace Loose line recently came to Ulta and at first I don't know why I didn't for some reason I didn't realize that it was Becky G's brand I, I do not know why but I loved this palette color story I've seen a couple of smaller uh, creators that I follow have already showcased this on Instagram I've done some looks with it so you know what I decided you know I'm gonna go ahead and grab that because it was on my radar and this is what the color story looks like I got a trace loose palette in a boxy charm a couple of months ago and like I said I didn't realize it was Becky G's brand I have no idea like I was just having kind of like you know brain cloud or something there and I actually ended up decluttering that one it was a little six color pan palette and that one is on Ulta as well I didn't like that one as much but I really loved the color story in this one. I will be doing a separate video with this as well as some of the other products that I picked up from Trace Loose Beauty. Very excited about this. And then I also picked up two of the Bounce Cream Blushes. So I think they're called Ready to Bounce Cream Blushes. I picked up two of the shades. Whenever I pick up shades from a blush line that I've never before was you know new to me new launches I try to go for the shades that aren't necessarily prevalent in my current collection so at least they're a little bit different and these two just looked extremely vibrant on the website on Ulta this one is ready to pounce and it's just a really bright kind of a fuchsia pink Looks so extremely vibrant. And being that this is a Latin owned brand, these shades should just look absolutely vibrant and pigmented on the skin. This shade is called Girls Night. This is a super vibrant red. I'm gonna swatch these because I wanna see what the formula feels like, as well as what the shades look like on the skin, because it is a cream blush. Ooh, that is very creamy. So this is Girls Night, which is the red shade very very pretty looks like it's going to be an easily buildable shade like not super intense right off the bat so that you can kind of build up the pigment to where you want it to be which i do like and then this one is vacation which is the vibrant pink very pretty yeah i am looking forward to giving these a try in that video I was reading some of the product info on the back and it says that these can also be used on the lips. So they're basically uh, double duty. You can use them on your cheeks and then you can also use them on your lips. Usually if it's a you know cream blush type formula that they say you can use on your lips too. I don't usually just do that. I just use it specifically for my cheeks. But I might give it a try on my lips just to see how it performs that way. But when I get products like these, I generally get them specifically to use on the cheeks. The last thing that I picked up from Trace Loose Beauty is one of the Intenso liners. This one is the white shade. Icy is the name of the shade. My favorite white liner is from ColourPop. 
one of their cream gel liners. I think Exit is the name of the shade, but I'm almost out. I didn't want to just like order that one product from ColourPop. I haven't really seen anything lately that's just really been grabbing my attention. So I thought I would give this pencil a try. I like using white liners in my waterline to really just kind of help brighten up. So let's see. Oh, that is super creamy. <gasps> that is super creamy. And it has a bit of a shimmer to it too. So that'll really brighten up that area. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Look how creamy that is. Ooh, excited about that. The last two things I picked up involve the eyelashes. I grabbed the Milani 24 Hour Wear Intense Black Lashes for Days Anti-Gravity Mascara. I've been wanting to try this one as well. This one has actually been sitting in my Ulta cart for a little while and I finally decided to go ahead and get it. I had two mascaras. Actually, I have three mascaras in my cart. This one, there was a new one, newer one from CoverGirl and I think the other one was Tarte. I'm not sure, but I took the other two, put those in my favorites to maybe try out later on and just went on ahead and got this one. It's multi-dimensional volume and it's supposed to defy gravity, give you a wide-eyed look with out of this world results. It's a volume, length, and lift formula. 93% saw extreme volume while 90% saw instant lengthening and lash lift. I'm like trying to read this without my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> like without my little magnifier here. So yeah, I'm like really excited about giving this one a try. It has really good ratings and I do like trying out new mascara formulas. So I'm really excited about that one. And then the last item is a lash separator. I actually saw one of these used in a TikTok video. I don't, it was, I don't think it was this brand specifically, but it was an eyelash separator. I've never used one of those before. But basically what it is, it is a comb. And what you do is after you put your mascara on, hold on, let me show you what this one looks like. The fact that it has a little cover on there to protect the combs. But basically what you do is after you do your mascara, you take this little tool here. And you can see how it has, it's a, a lash separating little comb here. And you take this and you go through your lashes. What it's supposed to do is take off any extra mascara that may be looking clumpy and just give you like fuller, more volumized lashes without all the clump. So I'm interested in giving this a try. Like I said, I don't think it was specifically this brand that I saw in that video, but the tool looked really interesting. And I, anything that I can do to help my lashes look fuller, give more volume and length without like looking super clumpy. You know, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I think it was, that clumpy lash look was made famous by Lindsay Lohan. I've never liked the clumpy lash look, so this would be very interesting to try. I will more than likely use this and test it out in the same video as this one. And I'm definitely going to film a TikTok video trying it out too, just to see if it works like, you know, that person that was reviewing this type of tool used. Very interested in giving this one a try. Any, any tools that make application easier, that make, you know, your overall final product looked really good. I'm all about it. All right guys, so that is the end of this haul video. I know we don't see good old fashioned haul videos very often, but I like watching them and I like doing them. I love seeing you know, new products that people have picked up. And like I said, I will be playing around with the new palette from Trace This Beauty. Once again, this is called the I Am Palette. So we're gonna be testing this one out as long along with the uh, bounce back cream blushes. I think that's what it's called. So we're going to be testing both of these products out. Other than foundation switch, I don't know what it is guys, but I have been kind of going ham with that. I'm waiting for the right shade of that kimchi one to come. And then I also picked up the Profusion foundation. I've just really been into base products lately. But other than that, I've really been into blushes. Like, I don't know what it is, but I've just become a blush fiend. I used to be really, really excited about highlighters, but now my thing is blush. I picked up a new blush and a highlighter also from LYS, I think it is. You know, you get a free birthday gift on Sephora and it was this little Tatcha kit. And I was like, yes, I wanted that. So I went ahead and bought a couple of things so that I could grab that. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else that's coming. I also have a Beauty Bay order that I picked up. I will be using some of those products in future videos too. You guys, let me show you this real quick. You know, Beauty Bay comes from the UK. And this is what my box looked like when it got here. It literally looked like they just 
kicked it like a football all the way from the UK here. But thankfully, none of the products in the box were damaged. Everything came in perfect condition. But yeah, that just makes it, it makes you not want to shop internationally when packages are treated like this with such little care. And this has nothing to do with the company. This is strictly shipping. The way that it was handled. If you are enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe and tap the notification bell and make sure you follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. <music>